Hello and welcome to the Strictly Sock Along weekly vlog, except that I didn't film this last week and I've already had numerous disasters this morning which I shall tell you about shortly. It starts with saying that I was, uh, when I first started filming, having a lovely cup of tea that was still hot out of my beautiful mug which was a gift. These are just one-offs that were made for me by Adele of Toastal House Yarn. Uh, but it is now cold for reasons I will say in a minute. And if you don't know, the Strictly Sock Along is an annual uh, make-along where we knit or crochet socks during the season of Strictly Come Dancing or Dancing with the Stars and cheating is encouraged. So we have a lot of fun trying to think of reasons why we should be able to knit our socks even when not watching Strictly. And I've got a few funny cheats to share with you that, I've, that have caught my eye over the course of the week. And all of the revenue from these videos from now until the end of January 2022 will be donated to Crohn's and Colitis UK. And there are a lot of other makers that have decided to donate um, uh, to that charity as well during the course of the Sock Along, including Gemma of Gemma Espe Designs, who is selling Strictly Sock Along bags. And is also donating um, during her Vlogtober um, for any donations made to her by Kofi and lovely Lindsay of Stitch Create Love who um, is going to donate all of the profits from the sale of her three sock patterns on Ravelry. She is Lindsay Tranter, Stitch Create Love and um, she's got three beautiful sock patterns on Ravelry and all of the profits will be donated to Crohn's and Colitis at the end of the sock along. Um, the hashtag on Instagram has gone utterly bananas. It's Strictly Sock Along 2021. If you want to go and have a look, it's so much fun to look at it. To look at it, the chatter thread is so much fun to look through. So many of you are chatting, and loads of beautiful Strictly socks are showing up now in the finished object thread on Ravelry as well. There are lots of prizes and lots of ways to be able for a chance to win a prize. Uh, you can chat on the Ravelry thread, you can post your finished objects on the Ravelry thread, you can use the hashtag on Instagram, or you can comment on these videos. At some point uh, or other during the, the course of the Sock Along, I, I will be drawing prizes from all of those places. I apologise if I sound snotty, it's because I am. I've had the super cold that has been going around, which is why I didn't film last week. I was really unwell last week. Uh, my eldest daughter was also isolating with COVID and this morning we found out that the boy who sits next to Phoebe at primary school has also tested positive for COVID so we have to go and have yet another test. I can't even talk about it. Also, the reason why my tea has now gone stone cold is because I sat down, I've got everything ready, I drew the winners because we had some tens, not the weekend just gone but the weekend before which means it's time to draw the first prizes. Got everything done, everything set out, and my camera wouldn't turn on. My brand new two week old camera wouldn't turn on. So I had to go and get in line at Curry's and they were very, very helpful. They've swapped it out for a new one. I'm recording on that one now, but it's already faulty. I can tell it's making some very strange noises when I move it. So I'm gonna record this video and I'm going back to Curry's. <laughs> So who knows when this will be edited and up, hopefully by the end of Tuesday. Ah, oh, God, that was a lot of yabbering to begin, wasn't it? Shall we talk about the cheat of the week? No, because I've left my phone downstairs. I'll have to go and get it in a second. So let's talk about my current progress on my Strictly socks. My, I've made a pair of Strictly socks already. If you want to go and have a look at the previous vlogs, you'll see them. I'm now on my second pair of Strictly socks, which are living in my beautiful Sarah Jo Makes bag. I do have one of these up for grabs as a prize for later on in the sock along as well, and I'm loving it. I uh, have finished the first of these. It's the Crunkled Socks by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears, lovely Kay. And I have loved knitting these, love, love them. And I've got my first, it's not been blocked, but I just put it, put it on a sock blocker to show you so you can see the pattern. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I'm gonna make another pair of these. They're so lovely. And the yarn is the official Strictly Sock Along yarn this year. It's called Sockly Come Dancing. And it is by lovely Susie of Elderflower Stitches. It's a lovely yarn. I really, I think it goes really lovely with this um, pattern as well. Um, my second one is on the needles and I have just 
done the heel turn and I'm now on my least favourite part of sock knitting. Oh dear, I've got my yarn caught up in a stitch marker. Yikes. Okay, crisis averted. Um, I've just got to my least favourite part which is the gusset, gusset decreases. Um, but it also means that I'm on the homeward straight because I'll be on the plain sailing of the foot pretty soon. And I'll have another finished pair and then I can start on a third pair. This is the most productive I've been during the Strictly Sock Along in years. This is the fifth year of the Strictly Sock Along. So that's my socks. How are your socks coming along? Uh, and how are you getting on with your cheating? I've got some more prizes as well. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what you're doing to cheat and everything. I've been screenshotting things that grab my attention as I scroll through Instagram or Ravelry or in the comments and things. I can't remember which ones I've screenshot this last week. Uh, and until I get my phone, I won't know. But let's do some prizes. Okay, so I decided to do three prizes. So basically the first prize category is when the first 10 is drawn um, on the UK Strictly show. And that happened, not the weekend just gone, but the weekend before. There were 10s coming out all over the place. I think Craig even got his nine paddle out, which is unheard of. That's basically a Craig 10. So there were lots of these. And I drew a winner using random number generator this morning from the chatter thread. There were 534 posts in the chatter thread, which is amazing. You are really chitter chattering away in there. It's so lovely to see. And it pulled out number 220. That is Cheryl, matron Cheryl. Cheryl, you're in Leon C in just over the bridge in Essex. And I believe you are a matron at Mental Health Hospital. So you have won one or oh, where is right so this is the package i put together and i figured this had to go out quite early on in the sock along so that it can be used during the sock along if you so wish so i have got here you can't see it because it's all beautifully wrapped up it is from will is the answer i will show you my one because i've got one of these as well it is their official strictly um colorway for this year there they are. What well, is the answer? They provide all of their yarn beautifully caked up already. I've already messed mine up a bit. Oh, look how lovely that is. Really looking. This is going to be my next pair of Strictly socks. I'm really looking forward to knitting with this. And it is called Fabulous. It's their Fabulous 21 colourway. There we go. So you've got uh, you've got a ball of that yourself. And something else that I've already got. Is this beautiful bag from lovely Julie of So Unique. She's done special bag bags just for the Sock Along 2021 with the hashtag and the dancers. And as usual with Julie, it's a beautifully made bag. Lots of room, not just for socks, but for bigger projects as well. And I've got one of those for you. So that is your official Strictly Prize, Cheryl. If you could get in touch with me on my email or via Ravelry uh, with your address and I'll get that sent to you. But I was having such fun drawing prizes, I thought I would draw another one. In fact, I've drawn another two. So first of all, I wanted to give away one of the lovely pattern prizes that we've got uh, to give away. So I drew another winner from Instagram. I just went and randomly scrolled through and just put my finger on the screen. And that drew up a uh, candy patch design. That is Carrie. You've won a pattern and you can choose any one of Lindsay's who is Sock Witchery on Instagram and Sock, I think, underscore Witchery on Ravelry. You could choose any of her, any from her five sock patterns that she has. So you can let me know and I'll get in touch with Lindsay to let her know that you're the winner and she'll get that sent to you either by email or via Ravelry. So let me know which you'd like. You can contact me on my email or uh, via Instagram or Ravelry, whichever is easiest. Well done, you've won a pattern. And then, because I was on a roll, I drew a third name from Instagram. A, a, third a third winner, but the second name from Instagram. And that was Dee McGowan. And that is Debbie. And Debbie, you've won one of the um, little prize parcels that I put together. And it includes one of my new prizes that came in. So you have won this beautiful bag by Jerry. Jerry B. Ford on Instagram. She made this and donated it as a prize. And then lovely Kate sent some prizes through. I'm gonna show you the other one in a minute. And it's a, a set of painted yarns. 
that is what it's called yeah painted sock you get ooh, there we are in this beautiful rich purple gradient so you get two of those because I thought that went nicely the purple theme and also I'm going to pop in this beautiful handmade stitch marker which I'm leaving in the packet it's really glittery really beautiful it's going to look lovely against that purple yarn from Narvel's Creations beautiful stitch marker that's from Loma and Echo and that's their card there so thank you to the people who donated those prizes and um, Debbie, if you could get in touch with me too with your address please and I'll get those first prizes sent out and organised. Well done to the winners and thank you so much as ever for the people who very generously donated prizes. I'll show you the other prizes that have arrived this week actually. So I mentioned Kate. Kate is a lovely teacher in East London and um, she's very gener generously no donated some yarn, some of which you've just seen in the prize there. And she also donated this beautiful sock set from Wild Rose Yarns. It's so beautiful. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's a little teapot stitch marker on it as well. So that's the tag in the teapot. And that's the yarn. And you, get, you get mini, so you get the full scheme there. And then you get two minis with it as well. And the colourway is Clematis. And it is 100 gram skein and 220 gram minis, four ply, hand wash cool. That's what it says. So that's the other prize that she donated. Thank you so much, Kate. So I'm adding that to the prize pool. I've been putting together all the different things I've got into parcels and prizes so I know what I've got. So I will add that to that. And the other um, prize that I've had arrive this week is from lovely Emma of Eldenwood Craft. I couldn't believe, she said she wanted to donate a bag. And of course I said, yes, please, thank you very much. And I couldn't believe it when I arrived because I thought that these things were the thing of just myth and legend. But I can, I can now reveal that they are real. So lovely Emma runs Eldenwood Craft and she makes the most gorgeous bags and she is most so about the rustling she makes she's most famous for her gorgeous gorgeous sheep bags I can't believe that that's me on the screen holding one of these sheep bags they I mean it is just um look at that sheepy face. Emma you need to do these with chickens on. I know that's nothing to do with knitting or yarn or anything just be just because I like chickens. <laughs> there you go you should base all your business decisions on what animal I like. <laughs> Isn't that amazing and it's it's lovely lovely cream thick material and then it's got her stamp on the inside there. It's a drawstring bag and it's also got this little handle so when it's all drawstringed up you can still carry it about. I don't want to mess it up by doing the drawstring thing. I want to keep it all nice for the winner. So I'm going to put that back in its little bag. I cut out all the rustling there. Um, and I will uh, add that to the prize file as well. Thank you so much, Emma. It's so exciting to have that to give away later in the sock along. If you're not clear what the categories are for the prizes, by the way, they're all set out. They are on my Instagram feed. I did post them there. And they're also on the Ravelry um, finished object thread as well. Um, and they're all linked underneath in the, in the description box underneath. Uh, oh, I've got a couple more prizes on their way to me as well. And I forgot to mention, I've got a lovely prize from Dawn, who is Dawn's Day. She has a Dawn's Day's podcast here on YouTube. She's absolutely lovely. She's based in the Netherlands. And um, I completely forgot to mention her when I was talking about prizes. Yeah, so sorry about that, Dawn. And happy birthday to you, because Dawn celebrated a very special birthday this past week. Right, tea of the week. You won't have noticed, but I ran down the stairs a little moment ago and got my phone and I'm going to read you out all the ones I've screenshot. I've lo noticed loads more but I screenshot some to read out. Okay so Vanda Penny on Instagram. I'm just doing a little bit of sly knitting on my strictly socks. Why? I hear you ask. Well this afternoon I was driving behind a car whose registration number was WA11KCR. 
naturally, I assumed it to be Dan Walker, who was having some time out of training to visit the Yorkshire Sculpture Park, which was near to where I was. I hope he gets back in time. You see, this is the kind of creativity that the world needs. That is fantastic. I assume your name is Penny, or it could be Vanda, but your cheating is commendable, well done. And your socks are lovely, actually. Very lovely. Oh no, that's a picture of chickens, keep scrolling. Uh, oh, this was another good one. Stasia Creates on Instagram. Here's my cheat. I used Norwegian Pearl in these socks. I learned it from a tutorial by Arnie and Carlos, where the pearl is made using cha-cha-cha movements. I like that, incorporating knitting, cheating and dancing in one post. Caro1UK, also on Instagram. I've obviously been on Instagram a lot this week. Working on my strictly fabulous socks. She's using the Will is the Answer uh, yarn. There you go. Whilst listening to Come Again by Robert Webb. Oh, has he got an audio book out then? I've just suddenly made that connection. I might look that up. Part two is appropriately titled Come Dancing, but to stretch the tenuous link even further, the book is narrated by Olivia Coleman, who, when asked if she would be tempted to go on Strictly, she answered, not for anything in the world, I'd rather eat my own feet. <laughs> That's, I love Olivia Coleman. That's really funny. <laughs> that made me giggle a lot. I'd rather eat my own feet. Lorna who is Zebra Kitten, also on Instagram. I clearly need to spend less time on Instagram. Knitting on my Strictly socks and I'm cheating. Can I explain myself? I sure can. This is a video. There's the, there she is, she's watching telly. From at Sorted Food and Ben here is a chef. Tilly Ramsey, who is on this year's show, has a dad called Gordon Ramsey and he is a chef. Therefore, I can work on my Strictly socks whilst watching Sorted Food. <laughs> Or, I mean, if you want to think of it like that, you could, if you're watching Australian Master Chef or anything, you could knit on your socks any time then if you're looking for the chef connection. Very good cheat. And those are all the ones I've screenshot this week. Well done. Keep up the dastardly tactics. I'm very much enjoying them. I'm very sorry if I seem to be rattling through this at a speed of knots, but I've already been delayed in filming it and I'm aware that I now need to go back to Curry's again they're going to see me coming and hide i know it they're going to be like oh my gosh she's back hide uh what else did i want to say oh i suppose i better talk about strictly as well oh the standard this year has been so so good i'm loving anton as a judge i think it's, it's a little bit like having len back um i think he's doing a really good job and I love Shirley. I love her more every year. And Mopsie. I just think the judge and Craig, obviously, the judging panel lineup at the moment, I think, is just perfect. Um, I love all the professional dancers. I really love Kai, the new professional dancer. He has. He, remi he gives me the same kind of feeling as Kevin from Grimsby. Oh, that reminds me. My friend Sarah, who's my helper on the thread she's one of the moderators she managed to get a Grimsby connection in for her cheating but I haven't screenshot it sorry Sarah um yeah he so I really like Kai and I'm loving John and Johannes uh, Johannes just seems like the most lovely guy and John just seems like such a gentle human being he keeps saying wise things when he's chatting to Claudia doesn't he uh Tilly I really like we're loving AJ and um we love who else did we enjoy this week we really liked reese and nancy this week they had a really good dance but someone else we really enjoyed you see this is when i need dan with me he always remembers better he always go what about so and so and i go oh yeah i'll tell you who we didn't enjoy though it was greg i had to watch greg wise's samba like this oh no what's happening make it stop Oh, bless him. I didn't enjoy that at all. I do think the right person went this week. Um, yeah, definitely. Anyway, I love them all. And I'm just so happy it's Strictly season. And I'm so happy to have already started giving away prizes. I can't believe there's already tens and we're only in week four. So I'm sorry that I wasn't around last week. And I'm sorry that if this vlog is a little bit all over the place, um, hopefully it'll be a bit more normal next time and a bit more vloggy. I'm going to try and do a bit more of a vlog vlog for the next one. 
um, now that I'm feeling better. If you do want vlogs though, I am vlogging every day at the moment over on This Little Wonderful Life. I'm doing Vlogtober. I'll put a link underneath if you're interested in that kind of content. Until then, oh hang on, I tried the last couple of videos I've said keep knitting and crocheting and then just fizzled out in an embarrassing way that didn't really work. But someone said I could say keep cheating. See that works quite well doesn't it? So enjoy the Strictly Sock Along, keep all your beautiful pictures, comments and posts coming. I'm really loving seeing what you're all doing and I'll see you again next week provided I don't come down with some other lurgy uh, for the next Strictly Sock Along update. Hey chickens, do you want to see my Strictly Socks? Look I finished one. What do you think? What do you think of this one? You weren't impressed last time. What do you think, Cloud? Hey, hey! Do you like my shooty socks? Peggy is so impressed she's knocked over a plant pot. For the 20th time today.